This is my summer 2022 capsule wardrobe and my thought process while putting it together. It came down to a total of 20 items, counting shoes, but not accessories. Seven bottoms, seven tops, two layering pieces, and four shoes. These items have the potential to create over 300 outfits, and I'll be showing 60 of those in this video. I started by picking out basic pieces I know I'll be reaching for based on my normal summer activities. Also keeping in mind that summer temperatures here are between 60 and 80 degrees. The first piece I thought to include are these high-waisted denim shorts I've had for a few years now. Jean shorts are such a summer staple. There are a variety of styles and silhouettes to choose from, but all of them give off the same casual vibe. I also wanted a dressier and lighter color option, so I included these white tailored shorts. I always make sure the pieces I'm selecting aren't too similar in style and color, so I get the max impact in different outfits. For pants, I'm including these white high-rise mom jeans. Something about the color and the cut makes them very easy to dress up or down. I've never had white denim before, because I've always been too afraid to ruin them. Nowadays, I walk around with a Tide pen in my purse for spot cleaning. And now that I have light denim, I'm also going to add this slim straight high-waisted medium wash jean. It is so hard to find jeans that actually fit, but so worth the effort. I love the proportions a high waist and straight leg lend to my figure. It really balances out the top and bottom half of my body. Now I felt I needed a skirt to change up the silhouette, so I added this polka dot pleated midi skirt. I like the airiness of this material, which makes it very easy to dress up with some heels, but you could just as easily dress it down with some sneakers. Having as many bottoms as tops in your capsule will double the amount of outfits you can create. And speaking of tops, I picked this powder blue camisole that's colorful, but is still a somewhat neutral color. The fabric makes it a little harder to dress down, but that's okay, since I like a more dressy vibe to my outfits. At this point, I wanted to add a little bit of pattern, so I chose this striped cami with this detailing on the neckline. When mixing and matching patterns, it's important to make sure that they're of similar scale and that the colors go together for everything to work well. For my eighth item, I picked out this sheer tank top. This is a piece I've rebought because I get so much wear out of it. I feel that it's harder to look put together in the summer. So choosing dressier materials over cotton helps dress things up. Another way to dress things up is by adding a few button up shirts that can double down as tops or layering pieces. I have been obsessed with this white and blue striped shirt. I love the drape and flow of this fabric. Viscose is as breathable as cotton, making the shirt great for hot weather and layering. Not to mention that this print is a classic. Of course I reached for my white linen shirt, which is a closet must have for many people. Linen is also a great fabric for summer because it's also very breathable. If you're worried about wrinkles, linen blended with other materials does make the garment more wrinkle resistant. And speaking of linen, I can't leave out one of my favorite pieces, this linen blazer. It's still casual, but just the right amount of dressy. And it's not too hot for layering. This is a perfect example of how fabric can really change the perception of an outfit. I could never include a traditional structured blazer in this capsule. It would be too formal and out of place. At this point, I realized I only included either sleeveless tops or long sleeved shirts. I decided to add a t-shirt to balance out my dressier material tops. I'm going for this striped one I've had for a long time. Stripes are a very classic pattern. If you're not sure how to start incorporating patterns in your wardrobe, I'd recommend starting here. You can invest in a few striped pieces without fearing they'll go out of style. Now that I had the core of my capsule, I wanted to add a bit more color and also a few statement pieces. I have these printed wide leg pants that I think will go really well with the collection. 
I am so in love with these. Adding statement pieces to your wardrobe really helps bring out your personal style and personality. They are what makes your closet unique to you. Another statement piece I'm adding is this printed kimono. I've been tending more towards neutrals lately, but still love the color and pattern on these. Kimonos are an excellent layering piece for the summer, since they tend to be made of a lighter material. And adding a third piece is always an easy way to complete an outfit. For even more color, I added a color tank top to complement what I've already picked out. This also has a different silhouette from my other tops, which will give me more versatility. Color palettes are a game changer for your wardrobe, and I highly recommend you put some thought into yours if you haven't already. And for some extra fun, I also added this maxi skirt in a bold yellow, because why not? This is also one of my favorite pieces in my wardrobe. Normally, I find that maxi skirts are very hot and can't really wear them in warmer weather. But this material is thin, so it's really wearable in the summer. Now, let's move on to shoes. I know I'll need flat sandals for walkability. These are new, and I still need to adjust them to my feet by adding some shoe inserts. Switching out flip-flops for a dressier shoe like these really helps elevate casual outfits without any extra effort. I also wanted to include some heels for outings, so I decided on this pair because of the block heel in color. I stay away from black shoes if I don't have any other black element in my outfit. Black is not always the best color for accessories, especially when you have a lighter color palette. I actually went back later and added another option in heels. These are basically nudes for my skin tone, and again, with the more comfortable block heel. I find having a lighter and darker option for most pieces in your capsule is always best to get more versatility. And of course, I couldn't live without my most worn shoe, my white sneaker. I bought my first pair years ago and I've replaced them around four times since then. When trying out something new, I always purchase a cheaper version to see if I like it, and if I get a lot of wear out of it, only then will I invest in a higher quality piece. Like this fedora. Moving on to accessories, I've wanted to start experimenting with hats for such a long time, and I felt like this was a less daunting option. I bought this to see if I actually wear it. It'll definitely be an exercise to take me out of my comfort zone. For bags, I kept it simple. I love a red crossbody bag for casual looks. This is another piece I've replaced a few times. A colored bag is a lot more versatile than I would ever have thought. This bag goes with everything I wear. I totally recommend adding a colored bag to your collection. And of course, a neutral clutch for fancier occasions. This one was thrifted. You can't really go wrong with a piece like this. Clutches are great for dressing up outfits, and this light neutral color will go really nicely with my whole color scheme. And last but not least, these two belts. A skinnier and thicker version in colors that match the shoe options, just to tie things together. Head over to this playlist to see more outfits styled with this capsule. Thank you for liking, and I'll see you next time.